Today's lesson is going to be on doing a portrait of yourself, but we're going to start easy. We're only going to do half. Um, so here's one that started. We're also going to be writing our name down the side. So this is going to be what we call a self-portrait. It should be a view. So you can start with a piece of paper, and we're going to fold it so that we can get some guidelines of where to put everything we need. So first thing I'm going to do is fold it in half. And you would want to try and get it as close as you can. I'm going to fold it in half again. And then I'm going to fold it in half this way. When I'm done, I have a fold that goes up and down, and I'll have three folds this way so that I break it into eight sections. Okay, now here is our paper, and I would suggest you work with pencil, but I'm gonna work with pen today so that you can make sure and see what's happening. And remember this middle line, it's gonna be our guide, so I'm gonna talk about where the line's gonna be. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be right on the line, then we get to the second box, I'm going to come over just a little bit and then I'm going to round it off so that that becomes our chin. So let me see if I can do that now. So I'm going to come down. Now I hit that line so I'm going to kind of bend it to the side. And we're going to round it off and there's the chin. should end right on that line. We'll come back and do the neck in a minute. We're gonna put the eye in next. So I'm gonna put about a finger's width. I'm gonna put a little dot here. And now I'm gonna look at the distance here to here, and I'm gonna divide it kind of in half. There's the other one, a little more. And then I'm gonna think about what the eye looks like. So we're gonna come down. and then we'll come up, and it is a little more pointed. So there's the eye. Now, usually, if you measure on yourself an eye's length, there's about an eye's length on the other side, and there'll be a half an eye's length here, and that's about right. So that gives me the proportions of half of your face. Um, let's go ahead and do some more with the eye before we talk about any of the other parts. I'm going to bring an eyelid, so I'm going to start at that same point, bring it up a little bit, back down. The iris of your eye is a circle, but the top part is usually covered by the eyelid. It is a circle, and it can even touch the bottom, and then you have the inside. Now, when you think about the proportions, the mouth usually comes. The nose is going to be about the same width here. If you dropped a line, there's my nose. It's somewhere in here, and we're only drawing a half. And the nose itself should be right on that line. So I'm going to just kind of draw a line that goes like this. It looks a little bit like a parenthesis. And remember, it's only half, because the other half would be over here. If I think about the distances here, I want to think about dividing into three parts. About there would be one third. So I've got three parts. And I'm going to draw the mouth is going to go out at least to where that pupil is. Now I'm not even smiling there, so I'll come back and add some lips. This is where you see that little bit of chin. Let's get the rest of our mouth. You can have yourself smiling or you can just bring it out a little bit. Up, down. And there's the other, there's half of your lips. This would be where your chin line is. Your neck, if you look at the eye and you drop a line down, it's gonna be about right in there. We tend to draw our neck too small. I'm gonna draw it about like that. When I get to about here, I might go ahead and decide if I'm going to show part of my shirt or if I'm going to bring my shoulder off. So I'll bring the shoulder there. I might even draw a neckline. Alright, 
so we're going to come back up here and add a few details. We also need to think about the ear. The ear, the bottom of the ear, is even with the bottom of the nose. The top of the ear is usually somewhere right in here. And we may or may not see it, depends on what your hair looks like. An example we saw a minute ago was Bella. But you know, if you had long hair, you might be covering all of this. Well, we've forgotten something. Let's put the eyebrow in. So again, you can look at pictures of yourself or look in the mirror to see what your eyebrow might look like. And you can decide how you want your hair to be. I'm going to give this one a little bit of curly hair. And then I can come back and add more features as I want, but I've got the basis of this. We're going to color that in, you're going to color that in. Now on this side, we're going to write the name. Now on this one, uh, I'm going to start with the pencil because I'm going to have to do some erasing here in a minute. But I think I'm just going to write the name Piper here, so I'm going to put a P. And we're going to make some box letters in a minute. I'm just kind of tilting them back and forth, but you could have them even. Trying to make them about the same size. But what we're going to do is we're going to use that as the basis. Once I have that letter, now I'm going to take my pen and I'm making the thickness around each one. And then you would take a pencil and you'd go back, your eraser, and you'd go back and erase. And that's one way to make those thick, chunky letters. You can just take that pencil, go back down, do some erasing. And now it's ready to be colored in. And as you can see, you get to choose what kind of colors you like, choose your favorite. Your hair may look different. All of your features might look different. You can look from a photo, or you can just do it from your imagination, but it gives you the basic sizes that everything should be to make it look right. Okay, on this one, now I'm showing how to color. And it would all depend, skin color, everybody, but there's so many different kinds of skin color, hair color. I've used colored pencils but you could have obviously used any color you wanted to. Uh, I tried to add some darker colors right here to make it look like a shadow. Generally, if you don't want it to look like you got lipstick, you are gonna have a darker line here, but this usually catches light, so I would color it in lighter than the others, and this can be a little darker, and I tried to do that in several different places. Again, it's gonna be hard for me to color with the dark lines. That's why I would prefer you to do a pencil but you can see how you can add a whole lot of different colors, you know, picking what colors you really like uh, and deciding exactly how you want your picture to look. I even darkened in, you can add a dark shadow once you color the eye in. One way to make it look like there, there's always a little bit of a shadow right there under the lid, right here. You always add just a little bit of a shadow and that makes it look a little more lifelike. Make sure and share some of your examples and uh, have a good day.